All right, hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Before I get started with today's video, I really quickly wanna take a second to just say thank you to all of you guys that are new here that have subscribed and entered the giveaway. It's been so much fun seeing all y'all's new faces over here on my channel. Um, you guys still have one more day to enter the giveaway. So I'm announcing the winner tomorrow. So if you haven't entered already yet and you want to, then be sure to do that today. Um, all the information on it is in the video, the last video I did. So be sure to check that out if you want to enter. But it honestly means so much. And I just wanted to say thank you for getting... Sorry, you guys, for the abrupt cutoff. My memory card was full. <laughs> My bad. So I needed to delete a few things. But really quickly, I wanted to show you guys how I dye my eyebrows at home. I actually... Full transparency. Tried filming this video. Filmed the entire thing. Go to edit it. And literally, I'm like literally nobody can see what you're doing because of the angle of the mirror and the camera so I'm gonna try my best today to kind of like figure out how you guys can see what I'm doing while also like seeing what I'm doing because this is my face here that we're talking about so really quickly um I used to get my eyebrows dyed professionally and I was really never happy with how they turned out I feel like they were always like super bold and really dark and they left them on super long and they had like splotches in them and they just looked really really bad and I was like honestly I'm tired of spending money to get it done one and two I was like I'm like paying for them to not even look great so I looked on YouTube on how to ways to do it yourself and figured out how I could do it at home and I feel like I've pretty much mastered it now for the most part I will say that one of my eyebrows is a little bit differently shaped than the other so like sometimes they look a little off but I don't think eyebrows are like ever like the exact same unless you've had them microbladed so before we get started i'm going to show you guys what i use and what you're going to need so i use beard dye and it's the brand just for men this brand right here my camera takes like 18 years to focus anyways the brand is just for men i'm pretty sure i'm in the shade light medium i have naturally blonde hair so i don't want anything like too much darker than that this is like perfect for me and honestly even if you're brunette i feel like this would be perfect for you as well I like to have two or a few wet cotton rounds and then a few dry cotton rounds just to get the dye out of the eyebrows. Now this dye comes with an applicator in the box. Obviously this is meant for beards so it's like a big thick brush that makes it easy to like get all on your beard here. Well obviously we're not doing it on our beards, <laughs> we're doing it on our eyebrows. So I like to use just an angled brush, angled eyebrow brush. And then it has a spoolie on the end too, which helps me get a little bit of like the extra product out. So that's the stuff I'm gonna be using. Everything I'm using is linked below, just in case you guys are interested in picking up the same exact stuff that I'm using. Also, I know that there are different types of dyes for beard dyes, like different brands. Also, there is dyes specifically for eyebrows. So whatever you wanna use is gonna work. You're, pro you're gonna do it pretty much the exact same way. First, let me find a mirror that I can use so you guys can see what I'm doing as well. This might work. Okay, so something I personally like to do before dyeing my eyebrows is I kind of like to clean them up a little bit. So I'm going to take an eyebrow shaper. Oops. The little thing came off. These are actually new. I actually just got them on Amazon. I'm really excited. But I take one that looks like this. I'm going to have this link down below too. I'm really excited. I feel like this one's like really extreme and like heavy duty and it's gonna do a really good job so what i like to do is i just clean them up a little bit around the brow like any hairs that are around that i don't want i just clean them up with this so i'm gonna do that quickly all right hold up this thing is sharp this is like heavy duty i'm really excited i actually got these to dermaplane my face and there's going to be a video going up on how i do that so be sure to be on the lookout for that this is so legit. I don't know if you guys can tell how sharp this thing is. Holy cow. I'm like actually kind of nervous and I'm going to cut myself. Okay. Let's just be very careful here. I've never done this in such a small mirror. I'm almost like nervous that I'm going to somehow screw up. But actually, let me zoom you guys in a bit so you guys can see. Also, if you guys are wondering how I got these amazing beach waves, I just got a new curler in the mail. Actually, I guess they would call it a waver, not a curler, in the mail. And I just used it for the first time. I'm obsessed. Like, talk about beach waves. This is, like, perfect. Um, it took, like, a second getting used to the 
way that it worked but I'm obsessed it didn't take long at all and that's also going to be a video coming up on the channel as well so if you guys are interested in how I got my hair like this be sure to check that out whenever it goes up I'm gonna take it I'm gonna film it like this week and then edit it and get it up hopefully this week for you guys I'm kind of nervous to do it all in this little mirror actually one time I was doing this I cut some of my eyelashes off which was not good so that's kind of why I'm being like really cautious right now because that would totally suck if that happened again I would cry you guys need to get these if y'all use eyebrow shapers to do your own eyebrows because this changes the game it's like barely touching my skin and it's getting everything off it's insanity now, I know I'm not doing like a full um, tutorial on how I do this. If you guys want a full tutorial on how I do it, I would be happy to do that for you guys. But this purpose, the purpose of this video is mainly for like how I dye them. So if you guys want to know like all the details on how I clean them up and get them shaped how I like them, you guys can let me know in the comments and I'll do a video for you guys where I go a little bit more into detail about that. But I'm quickly going to finish this up and then I'll jump on whenever I'm ready to dye them. All right, so I just finished shaping my eyebrows how I like them, so I'm gonna go ahead and dye them now. So I'm gonna bring you guys back in, and I'm quickly gonna just mix the dye. So you just obviously take the littlest amount of developer, and then an equal amount of the color base, and then I'm just gonna mix them up. The way I mix them up is honestly just with the applicator that I'm using. So let me show you guys. So just make sure it's like really mixed together. The way that I kind of like to explain it to people is fill them in with the dye the same way you would fill them in if you were just tinting them for the day, like with an eyebrow pencil. So you can kind of achieve the same shape as you would if you're just filling them in with um, a pencil or a pomade, whatever you use. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get some of this color on my brush and I like to start very small just so I can have a little bit more control I feel like if you use a lot it's just like hold up you know so I personally like to start on the bottom so I'm gonna just create that line on the bottom of the brow very light-handedly just as if I'm filling them in like I said What's really cool about like doing this is it kind of like leaves the dye a little bit on your skin which is totally normal and it just is so amazing how like well shaped they are whenever you rub it off it's so just like satisfying to see okay so now that that's done if you guys can see I'm going to go on the top now so same thing, super light-handedly. Just giving them the shape that I want. This is definitely challenging to do in such a small mirror. But I really wanted to film this for you guys. So we're going to make it work. Now that I've filled in the line on top of the, like the upper line, whatever, of the brow. I'm, just, I'm like literally terrible at explaining things. Um... I'm now just going to take the dye and go throughout the brow on all the little hairs, kind of in an upwards motion, so I'm making sure I get them all. I personally do not like a boxy look in the front of the brow, so I very, very light-handedly go over the brows kind of in the start in the front, like towards the right here, these hairs. Don't know what you would call those ones. <laughs> okay. And you're usually supposed to leave this on for like 10 minutes, so that's usually what I do. Another cool thing about doing it yourself is you just have full control over how dark they are. And you can just go back in and do it again if they're not as dark as you want them to be. Once again, it's like on your face. So like if they don't look good, I mean you're kind of stuck with it for like two to three weeks because the dye lasts about that long. I was so mad whenever I filmed the video and 
you guys couldn't like see very well because I was like, well, looks like I'm going to have to wait like a month to do this again. I usually do it like once a month. So, all right. So I know that it looks super bold right now and it almost looks like super drawn on, but don't worry. It's not going to look like that whenever you rub the dye off. So don't be scared. But if it is your first time doing it and you want to like literally leave it on for like three minutes just to be safe, you can do that. That's what I did at first because I was like, I don't want to risk having terrible brows for like three weeks of my life. So I'm pretty content with this brow. And now I just have to attempt to do the same exact kind of shape on the other one. So doing the same thing. Line on the bottom of the brow. Honestly, I don't even like really time it anymore, which might be a little dangerous, but I Just kind of wait till they're like a certain shade of brown to take it off like usually once I'm done with the second brow I'll give it like Three more minutes and then I'll take off take off the first one wait a few more minutes and then take off the second Okay, I'm pretty happy with the bottom line shape So I'm gonna go to the upper I just really love how I can like really shape them because my brow hairs are like insane and just have a mind of their own as probably all brow hairs. So I kind of like how I can like almost fake that I've have that I've had my eyebrows microbladed by like achieving the shape that I really like. Also, something I don't have out right now, I like to have Q-tips just in case. I kind of want to shape them up a little bit more, which I'm actually doing a pretty good job of doing it with the brush. So it's not too bad, but if it is your first time, I would recommend having some Q-tips so you can like take off and like clean up the edges really well with it. This brow is my, my like trouble brow. It has a bunch of sparse areas. So what I like to do in those areas is apply a little bit more dye. So it kind of like dyes the skin and almost looks as if there's some fullness there. Wow, this one's getting dark. <laughs> you guys are probably like, girl, it's time to wipe that off. But trust me, it does not look like that once the dye is off. I promise you. I have very blonde eyebrows. So if I don't have them tinted, it pretty much just looks as if there's nothing there, which is really unfortunate. And I used to honestly not care very much about my eyebrows. And then I would do my makeup and be like, something just looks off. And it's like... Well, don't really have any eyebrows, girl. So, I don't think that they look exactly perfect, but like I said, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So, they're not gonna look just alike. I honestly am kind of considering having my eyebrows microbladed, but I'm kind of still thinking about it. Just because it would be so nice not to like have to do them. Even though it's like usually I only do this once a month. But it would just be nice to like wake up and then be perfect every single day. You know what I'm saying? Using the viewfinder a little bit to kind of like have a better visual of what this is looking like. So this one's obviously a lot darker because the color has developed on this one pretty much already. And then this one needs a few more minutes. So I'm going to wait a second and then clean this one off. And I just use those wet cotton rounds to get it off. You can use a rag. You can use literally whatever you want. Wow, they actually look pretty pretty symmetrical unless I'm just like delusional I'm literally using the smallest mirror right now how is this happening so I'm gonna wipe the first one off and you guys will see that it just looks so natural and doesn't like you can already see like it's just looking so much better oh my gosh they look so good I'm obsessed you just like kind of have to apply a lot of pressure to make sure all of the dye is out so that's that one. As you can see, it doesn't look as crazy anymore. I know that it is a little dark. Usually the first like two days for me, they're like pretty dark. And since I'm so used to my eyebrows being blonde, I'm like, eh, it's kind of like too dark for me. But I think it's just because I'm so used to them being blonde that I'm not used to seeing them with color. So it kind of freaks me out a little bit, but it just looks so much better than like them being blonde. So that is that one. Looks really good. Like I said, it doesn't look as crazy anymore, like a stamp or anything like that. And this next one is pretty much developed all the way now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off too. 
like I said, if you're not happy with the results of your first try, like if they're not as dark as you want them, you can always go back in and just add more dye and let it sit for a few more minutes and it'll give it some more color. So sometimes like in the beginning, whenever I was kind of scared to leave the dye on for a long time, that's what I would do just because I did not want to risk anything. I'm gonna take the dry one now, just to make sure all of it's out, both of them. And that is what they look like. So I am super happy with them. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys are trying to dye your eyebrows at home but just have no idea what you're doing, don't worry, I've been there, I feel you. Trust yourself though, like it's actually not that hard. Maybe even practice with just an eyebrow pencil at first to kind of like really figure out what shape you want and what you're happy with. And then once you're used to kind of doing that shape on your brows with something that's not as permanent, you can then go in with the dye. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love filming this for you guys. I'm so glad my brows are back on. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.